Hi YouTube friends and family! I was just going to make you guys a video to show you um, a special occasion box that I am doing for my husband. Um, our special occasion during this deployment is that we are expecting our first child. So unfortunately he's going to be missing the birth, but I want to make sure that he is as connected as possible and that he feels really special when his son arrives because he can't be here and I know that he would give anything to be here but um, this is the way that I thought of to make it special for him so um, anytime that you're gonna send a box for a special occasion you want it to get there by a certain date I would definitely suggest sending it at least a month ahead of time um, and it also is going to depend on where um, they're stationed and stuff like that but at least a month ahead of time. This one I'm doing it about a month and a half before my due date which I probably should have sent it a little bit earlier just to, because it's the due dates are so you know fluid and tentative. I don't know actually when he's coming but a month and a half is what I'm doing. If you're sending it for like Christmas, I would definitely suggest sending it extra early. Um, other other times of the year, I don't think it's as bad, but at Christmas, you definitely want to send it super early. So you don't want them opening a Christmas present like after New Year's. <laughs> but anyways, so I'm gonna show you guys the uh, the box. First off, the I don't normally talk about shipping in my videos, but I'm going to tell you guys why I use large flat rate boxes um, from Priority Mail uh, for United States Postal Service. Now, I don't know what the best form of shipping is out of the United States, but in the United States, um, in my opinion, this is the best way to go if you're shipping um, for a couple of different reasons. The Priority Mail gets there like the fastest. I'm just speaking from personal experience. Um, priority mail gets there really fast or as fast as it's going to get. And also because the large flat rate boxes are the best bang for your buck. So to send a large flat rate box to Afghanistan, Afghanistan I spent $13.45 but if I were to send a medium one I think it's like 11 or $12 or something like that. Um, and they're quite a bit smaller, so you can send a lot more stuff using the large. The reason why the larger is cheaper is because they have a discounted rate um, for the large flat rate boxes. They don't have it for any of the other sizes as of right now, which is um, summer 2012. So they change all the time. But that's why I ship this way. And so I definitely suggest that you use large flat rate boxes. They're free. You get them from the post office, so you can't beat that. Um, but anyways, I decorated the inside of the box. I don't normally decorate the inside of the box, but because it's a special occasion and I want it to be special when he opens it, I did this. Um, I did it with wrapping paper and these little letters are these little sticky foam letters that I got at the dollar store. And I got the wrapping paper at the dollar store too. So less than $2 I spent on the decorating, but you can decorate the inside of the box all sorts of different ways. I've seen people <clears throat> put their children's handprints on the inside of the boxes. I've seen people paint the boxes. I've seen um, scrap paper or, I mean, you can really just be as creative as you are, you know, just do whatever you want. Um, but this is what I did. It was the cheapest and easiest thing for me to do, so that's what I did. And I think he'll think it's nice and it'll be a nice surprise when he opens it up. So I did that and then I always put the box number and the day that I send it on the box so that I know when he gets it. And um, yeah, that's what the box looks like. Since it's a special occasion box, I marked it on the outside with some, it's a boy stickers around where the um, address is going to go so that when he gets it, he knows that he's not allowed to open it until the baby comes. So that's the box and usually always like on the top of the box I have a letter for him um, or a card and this one is special of course because it's a special occasion so I have a little it's a boy card that's really cute and I wrote him a really long letter in there but also um, the reason why I waited so long to ship it is because I wanted to do this at the baby shower but um, 
at my baby shower I got like our different guests I asked them you know if you would like to you can send Christopher a little note um, written down on note cards so we gave out note cards and everyone like wrote something or like my little cousin drew something <laughs> so it's just um, like something special for him to look at um, right when the baby gets here so that he'll get all the congratulations and stuff like that immediately so those are in the card too so I thought that was kind of a cool way and there's other ways you can do it too you can um, you can videotape your friends and family um, I've seen that done before and that's really cool but this was this was the best way for us so that's how I did it so that is always on the top and I wrote daddy um, so that's always on the very top of the box so he'll see that when he opens it and of course I got him some cigars so he knows that cigars are coming because I told him um, and he told me what specific brands that he wanted and so I got the kind that he wanted I didn't pay extra to get ones that already said it's a boy on it I just got these ones they come in a like aluminum tube and I just stuck it on the outside of the tube and the reason why I got the ones with the tube is because it's really really hot and dry there and this is supposed to keep them fresher for longer so hopefully they're not all dried up and nasty by the time they get to him but yeah I stuck the stickers on there and so I'm sending him those cigars so that when Jackson comes or when our baby comes he can hand them out and all his battle buddies can say oh congratulations and they can you know like smoke and just have a minute you know to relax and, and celebrate so I'm sending him I've got three different boxes of those and the website that I got those from is awesome it has tons and tons of coupon codes and stuff and I'll put a link below to show you where I got them in case you're looking for something similar um, but I actually got this for free this is a humidifier that's supposed to keep the um, cigars fresh I'm not actually gonna put the cigars in it when I send it to him um, but he'll have it so that if he has leftovers or he wants to save them he can put them in here it was free they have coupon codes and it was like if you spend over hundred and twenty dollars you can get this for free so that's what I got it comes with let me open it up if I can if I can ah, okay there we go it comes with this little thing that you put water in I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna wait until it gets to him and he can do that if he wants to um, also inside of here if you're sending cigars make sure that you send these they're little um, cigar cutters um, so that they can smoke the cigars and my husband doesn't normally smoke so he doesn't have these things um, there's some I got some free cigars so these are like little bitty cigars that came for free those are in here and then um, I also got this at the dollar store it says new dad so I just thought that was kind of funny and I I don't want to waste any space so I just put some stuff inside of the box um, this little cigar box the other thing that I got for him that's on the same it go, kind of goes with the cigars but it's I'm also using it as a gift um, because he's been in the army for 10 years um, as of like August so I'm sending him this present um, it's a little Zippo lighter and um, I don't know if you guys can see that but it at the top of it I got his name engraved in it and at the bottom it has the um, the army little symbol thing so it's just cool and he doesn't normally smoke so I know he probably doesn't have a cigar I mean a cigar he probably doesn't have a lighter to light up his cigars so I'm sending that to him then I got him this book it says caveman's guide to baby's first year so that he can go through and read and know what to expect and I got him this t-shirt world's greatest dad because even though he's far away he's doing a great job of supporting his family and I just thought it was cute so why not this is his first baby so he's gonna be daddy for the first time 
And then of course, a little newborn diaper. I think this is just so cute. I have to send him one so that he can see how teeny tiny um, his newborn son is. Um, so I'm sending him that. And then of course, I have to send him candy. This is a water bottle that unscrews at the top. And I just filled it up with candy because you can't send a care package without candy. So. <laughs> so that is what I'm sending him for his special occasion box. If you guys have any ideas for special occasions um, or you have a video about um, special occasion boxes for care packages, definitely um, leave a video response or a link below, um, you know, a link below or something like that. Also, um, I'm going to leave links below of all these different things that I got for his care package so that you know where to get them if you like them. Um, if you're expecting a baby, congratulations. Um, if you're expecting a baby due to deployment, congratulations. And you're not the only one and you can do it. Um, there's other girls out there that have done it before us and we can do it too. So um, that's about it, you guys. Um, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.